Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fucking what else could go wrong? Really, that should be the title of this series. You might notice I'm sitting in a in a car that has some sporty looking seats in it. It's because we've got another addition to the furniture car club. They just keep building up, keep piling in, sitting around. Like we've got enough benches, we've got enough desks, bookshelves here. Just, this car is too small to really be of anything useful. But it is registered. Shock horror. So maybe we'll take it out to a Cars and Coffee one day. Maybe we'll take it for a little Sunday morning crew and actually get use out of it. So it's actually not a... No, it's not a new member of the Furniture Car Club. It's actually just a car. A registered, drivable car. It needs to get out of here immediately. I won't have such a thing in here. Just won't stand. But we've got some replacement panels for the Falcon to put on. So we're not just doing rust repairs. I'm putting on actual replacement panels. Brand new metal, brand new panels pressed and made specifically for those sections. The upper cowl I'm talking about. The upper cowl, the left and right hand hats, the little braces. And that will complete the cowl saga. And holy dooly, am I happy to just fucking never touch a cowl again. Never. So, we'll be putting on the upper cowl, cutting off that ugly lip there that serves as a, a rain drain or some shit like that. You don't need it in a pro you don't need it in a muscle car you're going to be driving once or twice a month. You don't need these daily things like the draining of the rain and you know, all that sort of jazz. I barely need windscreen wipers. I'm probably just not going to drive it when it's raining. But we'll be cutting that off, seam welding the whole front of the upper cowl, and then putting on the little hat braces there, and putting everything on, and fucking saying goodbye to it. Basically to the point where I can put the front guards back on, which I might do, just to make the car look slightly more complete. So, enough of that. There's no real update. Martin's Ute's still sitting in the same spot, though. So there's nothing really to update you on. I reckon let's just get into it. And then after we've done that, I might even get started on the, the gutters, the sills, the ranks, and I might Get started on the rest of the car, do some actual bodywork. Huh. Yeah. I mean, it's a wild concept to think, but we'll see how frustrated I am after I finish up with these, actually. I just can't be making plans all that. <laughs> Okay, so while I wait for the next panels to rock up, I would just edit the footage that I've got currently and then also do some 3D modeling and try and design the rear tail lights because the tail lights for the X-Series utes, whilst they look awesome, I want to I want to go custom, I want to do something different. The theme of this ute is going to be dark colors, very dark looking car. So I'm going to be 3D printing the rear tail light housings. There'll be LED lights inside there. So it'll be a completely different light unit than what is on a normal X-Series ute, but I'll still have that, that same arrow-like look. So if we have a goose here, I've just got some reference pictures there to get the dimensions and everything else all right. But, it'll essentially just be a black, flat black housing with the LED lights as strips going up and across, almost like an L going up there, and then an L coming down here as well. 
But I don't know, I might change halfway through. So I'll uh, keep going and um, see what we end up with. So the panel's rocked up whilst I was actually doing that 3D work. So that's Andy. How good do these look? Hey, you beauty. These are from Astel Design, or I believe I bought them off Howard Astel from Astel Design, but I believe they're made by Better Than NOS. So shout out to Better Than NOS, obviously stands for new old stock, not nitrous oxide systems. So they've supplied the upper plane through Astel Design, and same with these hats here for the left and right braces. But I mean, check out the difference. There was no way I was reusing that or going to attempt to repair that. I'm sick, I'm sick of repairing. I'm, si I'm sick of repairing rusty shit now. Just buy a new one. Easy, done. Wrap it on. It's not like Chinese made shit that doesn't really fit. This is made in Australia. It's straight on there. The only thing here, I've got a little dent here. So I'm gonna get the old slide hammer out, and pull that up. And then we're gonna weld these hats on. And then we can put the braces on and ooh, almost be done. Okay, so the hats are on, you're a beauty. And let me just say, I'm thankful that I got to practice welding on shit that would not be seen, i.e. the more internal parts, like the A-pillar and all that sort of jazz, before I started welding on things that might be seen. Because I'll tell you what, those welds at the beginning were atrocious. And now they're, they're passable. So pretty happy. I've decided to seam weld them. So just to full send, not doing any little spot welds and whatnot. So pretty happy with how that's all turned out. That all went together so well. I can't thank the guys enough at Better Than NOS for supplying these panels. Um, Better Than NOS, he's done an insane job at recreating these panels. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if he's using the original press kit from Ford or something like that, because these went on perfectly. They just matched together so well. I'm so surprised how well they went together. I've heard a lot of nightmare stories about getting reproduced parts and they just don't fit and there's so much cutting involved and these are massive structural panels and they've just gone straight on welded in and there's no no issues whatsoever with putting them on so a massive kudos to the guys at astil astil designed for supplying them and better than nos for actually making them and and providing them for us masochists that like to do the shit ourselves instead of just paying someone else to do it and having things such as spare time and sanity <laughs> And just like that, it's done for now. Well, that's all done. I'm super stoked that the Upper Plenum Saga is over. So I think, I don't know. But it's all there now, so there's nothing more for me, there's nothing more for me to weld on or do any of that stuff. The next step is to not move on to something else that's gonna take another year. The next step is to get this whole thing blasted. Take the front panels off, do all that, and, uh, and send it to the blasters and get it all blasted and epoxy coated. And then it's going to the panel beater to get the rear body work done. Because I'm not sure about you guys, but I don't want to spend another year, two years working on the body work. I'd rather just give it to someone else who's a professional, who's been doing it for God knows how long. Three months time, four months, however long it takes, I get it back, it's painted, it's done, it's ready to put back together. 
and then we can finally put it back together. Because in the background, I've been doing a lot of stuff to make this totally one-off. The dash is gonna be completely different to an XA Falcon dash. Everything will be totally different. And in the time that when this is gone, there's gonna be a lot of free space here. So I can start building the engine, which I've just picked up a whole lot of parts for. I'm not gonna show you those parts. I mean, actually, yeah, I'm gonna sh I'll, show you, I'll show you the parts. This is one of the parts. I'm not sure if you can guess what it is. Uh, could be the cam, who knows. Um, but, there's two of these. But yeah, I've got a whole bunch of goodies to put on the engine. So that's exciting as fuck. And the sooner this fucks off to get the bodywork done and come back done, the sooner we can play with this. How good's that? But thanks for joining me on this episode. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want really. I'm, I'm not telling you to do anything, but if you want to do something, you can do one of those things, I guess. Go check out Astil Design. They're building an awesome XC over there. It's probably not as good as this XA. Actually, yeah, it's a pretty awesome XC. We'll see you next time. What am I gonna be doing next episode? I don't know. I've just said that everything's done and I've, the next step is for me to handball this over. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll join me on the next episode when I take Martin's Maloo to go get its roadworthy certificate. Yeah. <laughs>